uh, OPEV report is uh, doing great. So today we are going to look at uh, one of the ways in which we can be able to do an estimation of uh, these random errors. Our previous discussion was on the statistical analysis of uh, random errors and we mentioned that a few of the, the ways or the strategies in which we can be able to use uh, to uh, do an analysis of uh, these random errors. And we mentioned uh, some of the ways in which we can be able to express uh, these specific errors in forms of expressions uh, and uh, other examples that uh, we had given. So therefore, today we're going to look at uh, one of the ways in which we can be able to do a, an estimation of uh, these random errors. And from, uh, of course, our, our discussion on the concept of our measurement, we talked about uh, this uh, particular concept of estimation. Now, in some cases, we are going to see that uh, there are some of the quantities or data, or rather there are some of the aspects or parameters that we cannot be able to measure. Or therefore, or we cannot be able to uh, employ the existing strategies or maybe existing formula to, uh, to calculate them. Therefore, we are going to use an estimation in order to try and figure out, uh, maybe try to uh, find the value of uh, an approximate value of the magnitude. So the concept of uh, basically estimation implies uh, a rough calculation. This is a rough calculation of a value of something from uh, just a general definition of uh, the concept of uh, estimation. So therefore, this is uh, what we are going to have in mind. From this case, we're going to see that uh, for us to do an estimation, we will have to uh, have what we call uh, uh, some kind of a uh, a judgment whereby we have to make a specific conclusion depending on uh, how we have figured out the behavior of uh, this particular uh, range of uh, numbers that we have talked about uh, the quantity etc so therefore from this estimation uh, we're going to see that uh, a specific judgment is going to be uh, uh, employed and from this if we uh, measure the for instance at the position or rather the length of a specific uh, object we say that uh, this is a specific object uh, against the maybe the readings of a meter rule uh, let's say this is a meter rule from 0 to 100 and this is the, an object that we're trying to perform our measurement so at this point of uh, uh, this uh, meter rule that we're going to see a uh, coinciding uh, perhaps we're going to have a reading of 94.6 centimeters so this is 100 centimeters just trying to give an example on how we can be able to do an estimation therefore if we try to look at this uh, this we can be able to uh, just have a conclusion that uh, uh, from this uh, specific example for using the meter rule we're going to see that uh, uh, the smallest division in this meter rule is going to be uh, of that one of a, a millimeter and therefore <coughs> uh, that is according to the reading which has been obtained from this specific case a 0.6 is going to imply the concept of a millimeter and therefore we can write uh, the measurement that we have obtained from this one as 94.6 and then plus an error that is going to be a 0.01 centimeters so therefore, this is the expression that we are going to use. And from this case, as I've said, we have just made a judgment on this specific expression for the readings of uh, this object on a, mid a meter rule. And therefore, we're going to uh, conclude that the error that has been obtained from this particular case, which is a random error, is an expression of the smallest measurable unit of an instrument. So therefore, from our conclusion, therefore, we are going to see that uh, from our meter rule, the smallest the smallest unit, uh, of course, uh, from this specific instrument that I've mentioned here is going to make us uh, uh, conclude on the... Therefore, from this illustration, we can be able to uh, pin down this and say that a, a random error uh, is going to be expressed as uh, an estimation of the smallest measurable unit uh, by an instrument. So in this case, our instrument for uh, the meter rule. Now we're going to look at the standard methods for recording uh, these specific errors. <coughs> now for us to have a universal way in which we are going to represent these uh, errors, 
or recording these errors so that they are comprehensible for can be comprehended by everybody and we are going to have a standard or a specific procedure that is uh, understandable that is going to assist us express uh, these random errors and I'm going to look at uh, three specific examples so the first one is expressing it as an absolute error and then next we're going to see that uh, this can be expressed as a relative error Then lastly, we are going to look at uh, what is referred to as percentage relative error. So therefore, these are some of the ways in which we can, uh, standard methods in which we can be able to uh, use in expressing uh, this concept of errors. Now, the first one for absolute error, uh, this is going to be uh, referred to as the size of an uncertainty in the quantity uh, that is expressed uh, in the same units. Now for instance, if we're trying to express a quantity as A, therefore we're going to express uh, this standard error as uh, uh, an inclusion of uh, this specific error, which is uh, a slight deviation from uh, this unit of measurement uh, for this uh, specific uh, uh, expression that we have uh, written as A plus or minus delta A. That is a way in which we are going to express absolute error. Now for relative error, we are going to see that the uncertainty is going to be expressed as a ratio uh, of uncertainty to the quantity uh, itself. Now therefore, this is going to be expressed as, we have said, as a ratio. Uh, sorry for that. It's going to be expressed as a ratio which is going to be given as an absolute error. over the true value. Therefore, this is going to be expressed as, uh, as a ratio. And lastly, for this, we're going to see that the percentage error now is an expression of uh, this second aspect of the sun, uh, standard method of expressing the error given as a percentage. Therefore, it's going to be given as uh, percentage relative error sublime at the ratio of absolute error over the true value expressed as a percentage or given us that. So therefore, these are the standard ways in which we're going to express uh, uh, these uh, or methods of uh, recording uh, this uh, specific data. Now that we said that it can be given as an expression, and therefore the first one is given as uh, uh, this specific expression, which is the size of the uncertainty uh, that is expressed uh, in the same unit as the quantity that is being given. So in our case for this one is the quantity that is being given and therefore the error is expressed as uh, uh, of course in the same unit as the quantity that is being expressed. For relative error we have seen this a ratio between the absolute error and the true value and lastly the percentage relative error is an expression over the percentage of uh, the relative error uh, in this uh, specific case. Now next we are going to look at uh, ways in which we are going to do a propagation of uh, errors and these are simply the uh, simply methods that are used to determine errors in values uh, where the values are created using two or more values uh, of course with no estimated errors we're going to see that one as we're going to discuss it uh, in our next video so catch us in our next video as we're going to discuss about uh, propagation of errors and this is also going to entail some of the ways or uh, means in which you can be able to do an operation on these errors uh, using specific examples. So that is it for now, guys. Oh, bye. God bless you. Catch us in our next video.